This morning, Russia's long-anticipated offensive in eastern Ukraine appears to be underway. A U.S. defense official estimates Russia has recently added 11,000 troops to its forces already in Ukraine. Ukrainian President Zelensky saying a very large part of the entire Russian army is now focused on this offensive. In the strategic port city of Mariupol, the far-right Azov battalion fighting with Ukraine claims Russia is now dropping bunker buster bombs on a sprawling steel plant where thousands of Ukrainian forces have been holed up, refusing to surrender. ABC News overnight could not independently verify the battalion's claim. Ukrainian authorities say civilians are also sheltering at the plant in a network of underground tunnels. Meanwhile, rescue efforts are underway in the outskirts of Kyiv, where Russian troops have withdrawn. We uh, searched these buildings today. ABC's Marcus Moore found two firefighters from California helping search and rescue teams. The other house that we uh, cut apart yesterday, there's nothing left, just the flames burn so hot. One of the bodies we recovered, per the neighbors, uh, said that they can hear a moaning and screaming for two days, but due to the area being under Russian control, rescue teams are not allowed to get in to do any type of rescue work. The latest American to join the Ukrainians is a familiar face on cable news. Russia doesn't do things just because a door is open. Malcolm Nance, an analyst on MSNBC and a former Navy intelligence officer, posting this image of himself from Ukraine holding a rifle. Nance writing, I'm done talking. Officials say the first shipments from an $800 million U.S. military aid package have now arrived in Ukraine. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.